In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your Son, both in his birth and his death, grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, Gird your loins, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the whole land against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, I will sing your salvation. I will sing, I will sing your, your salvation. salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. I will sing your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice. Day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing your salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, 
knowing to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughters came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? She replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on the platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Today we're celebrating the martyrdom of St. John the Baptist. Have you done something in your life that have made you, you tell the truth and give justice? What would be your action if you found out there was someone guilty of infidelity? Will you expose the truth or will you keep in silence because you are afraid of the person involved? On today's gospel, we can recall on the passion of John the Baptist. He was unfairly accused because he told Herod that he should not marry Herodias, the wife of his brother. Herodias hold a grudge at John and she makes sure that John will pay for his life. Her anger did not make John not to speak about their adultery. John was not afraid to die, for he knew he did what is lawful and just, and he was beheaded. My dear friends in Christ, in our own times, many are also killed for small reasons. Violence still exists in our world. There were also people who will keep in silence and let the evildoers continue their unfaithfulness. It is the same evilness that they let on winning and it should be stopped. We should learn not to judge innocent people. And just like John the Baptist, we should also learn to speak of truth. Let us pray for all those who work for justice. For we may not know they are also facing difficult and life-threatening situations. May we also let the truth prevail. And our gospel for today God is asking us, most especially the couples, please be faithful to your relationship. Please take good care of your wife, of your husband. 
please respect and honor the sacrament of the holy matrimony. If you are married already, please don't get another man or woman to your life. Be faithful to your promise to God. And likewise, those who have a relationship also, as much as possible, one is enough. Two is too much. Three, never mind. There's a lot of problems already. That's why be contented to your wife, to your husband. And that's it. No more, no less, my dear friends in Christ. I hope and I pray this Saturday, the memorial of the Passion of John the Baptist, God is asking us also to be faithful to all our promises. We too, priests, we pray for us that we may be faithful to our promises to God when we, was, when we were ordained as a priest. Pray for us also, and we will pray for you always. Amen. Let us turn to our Heavenly Father with these petitions, knowing that He loves us and hears our prayers. For missionaries throughout the world, may they receive God's blessing and comfort as they make His love known. Let us pray to the Lord. For policy makers, may God grant them wisdom in decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. For couples who are struggling with their marriage, may God's grace grant them courage in forgiveness and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. For members of this faith community, may the Holy Spirit guide us in all aspects of our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may they forever rejoice in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. We also include in this Holy Mass for the souls of Olof, Lynn Burge, Seferina Dyson Yamson, and also those who are celebrating their birthdays today, especially Emma Aguilar and Nita Madarang. And also we pray our frontliners, those who died in this pandemic, those who are positive patients because of this coronavirus, those who are dying this very moment, those who have cancer. We pray also for peace, peace all over the world, most especially peace here in the United States of America. We pray also peace in our hearts and peace in our homes. Let us pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal intention. God of grace and peace, hear the prayers of your people. We ask this, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you from the earth of pork of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you from the divine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, wash my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice 
may be acceptable to God, to Almighty Father. Through these offerings which we bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths, as taught by the, that voice crying in the desert, St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is so the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In His precursors, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory. For you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leaped for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the love of redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners, our deacons in our parish, those who are helping our parish Corpus Christi, our nuns, our seminarians. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, most especially St. John the Baptist, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, all together with our humble heart, we pray the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. My dear friends in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Those who are not able to come and uh, receive the Holy Communion in the, our Holy Mass, just reverently pray the spiritual communion prayer that you can see to the screen of your TV and to your cell phone. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies the saving sacrament we have received, and even more may rejoice at its clear effects in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ended. Go and be faithful to your relationship as a couple. Thanks be to God. <laughs>